of asking people of different nationalities and different uh, countries, who is the most beloved athlete of the 20th century? Almost invariably, every person I, I have asked without thinking has said Muhammad Ali. And I said, isn't it interesting that a black man who is Muslim and has the name Muhammad is the most beloved athlete in the world? Why is that? The reason I believe is very simple. He embodies in his own way certain aspects of the sunnah of his prophet. And even those who fought the Prophet Muhammad secretly admired him. They secretly admired him. Because Muhammad Ali was beautiful. He was beautiful to look at. When he smiled, that smile penetrated the hearts of even people that didn't like him. He had absolute self-confidence. When he spoke, he spoke with complete certainty. He had no self-doubts. When the microphone was stuck in after fighting a very intense fight with Sonny Liston at the age of 22, when most boxers would have had eyes so swollen you couldn't see them, be so dumb and dazed by, by being pulverized, by the heavyweight champion of the world, when Cassius Clay had that microphone put in his face, what did he tell the world? And the world was listening. He said, I'm 22 years old. I don't have a scratch on my face. I'm beautiful. I talk to God every day. I must be the greatest. <laughs> I just beat Sonny Liston. Because all the odds were against him. Muhammad Ali was a winner. He was a winner. Even when he lost, he was a winner. Because we forget that losers can be winners. And the Prophet Islam, was always winning. When he went to Thaqif and they mocked him, they threw stones at him, they caused his feet to bleed. What did he say in his dua? Ya Rabbi Mustafa'afi, O Lord of the oppressed in the earth. In a matikinun, who will you leave me with? Ila aduun yatadahamun, to an enemy that will treat me like hell. Ila ba'idan la yarfuni, to some distant person who knows nothing of me. Ila lam yakun sakhatuka alayya falaru bahan. If you are not angry with me, I have no concern. That, that is the dua of the Prophet ﷺ in what appeared to be the lowest point of his mission. His point was, this is all from you and I recognize that because this is the nature of the struggle. Muhammadun Sayyidul Kawnayn wa Thaqalayn wal Fariqayn min Urbi wa min Ajami محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومين